We know there's a lot of talent here in the 608, and this morning we are showing some of that off. Josh Breider live on Madison's West Side, where there's a pop-up art gallery open now for folks to enjoy. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, we're showcasing the very first exhibit here at this pop-up art gallery. And the woman behind it all, Isabel Rafferty, is with us this morning. And you put a lot of time and effort into making the space the way it is today. Yeah, me and a whole village of friends. <laughs> yes, you couldn't have done it without the help of friends. And of course, Michael Dix. Michael, yes, because it's Michael's generosity that's providing. He's donating the space, the electricity, he bought the paint, etc., etc. So we're extremely grateful for this opportunity. Yeah, so we had talked a little earlier, you know, this space was open. It used to be a restaurant and Michael provided you the space to be able to showcase a bunch of local artists here in it. That's right. And it is a pop-up gallery. So pop-up means it pops down. But we're going to be popped up until the middle of December because after this exhibit there are five other ex exhibitions so so once you come check out this you can come back because this is going right. to be changed out every so often right this show will be open until August the 14th and then a new show will open August the 20th featuring the work of Darren Morris who is an incarcerated artist so he's in the Wisconsin prison system and he paints in his cell. So that will be the next show. Uh, after that, I'll do a show. <laughs> and which is partly why it started in the first place in terms of my conversations with Michael. And then we have two watercolor shows and a, th a third a final group show, so. So, you know, your history is in art. You used to be in the art department over in Edgewood. That's so right. You've kind of come full circle to be able to have an art gallery now. I, I have come full circle because I um, entered into digital art for quite a long time, but I've come back to canvas and paint, and I'm just very happy to be back. You know, why do you think it is so important to feature our local talent right here in the 608? I'm not sure there are an awful lot of opportunities for to display art um, in public spaces. Um, so, I mean, we do have galleries and there are other public buildings that accept people's art. So it's just one more opportunity. Because painting, well, I paint, so creating art is kind of a, a solitary thing. But you don't do it just for yourself. It's for, you know, it's for the universe, for the world, really. So it's nice to have a place to display that. Yeah, and if people are interested in coming, checking out, when can they come check it out here at the art studio? Well, because we pop up, we pop up on the weekends. Okay. So Fridays from 5 to 7, uh, Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 5, and by appointment. So if you send me an email, I'll pop up. Matt Gallery Madison, <laughs> Gmail, it's a long one. <laughs> um, and I can arrange a time so you could have a private viewing. Or I'm here during the week do, working on my own painting. So if you see me, just knock on the window and I'll let you in. And pop on in. That's right. <laughs> and we may pop down and close like January, February. Okay. But we're anticipating popping up with a whole new season of shows. Uh, hopefully in March. So a lot to look forward to. Yes, indeed, indeed. Well, Isabel Rafferty, thank you so much for having us in this morning. We appreciate it. You've been delightful. Thank you. Well, thank you for welcome. showcasing the artwork. Oh, we love to do it, guys. <laughs> and of course, if you'd like to see it for yourself, I highly recommend it. It is free, open to the public. Come check out the local town right next to Michael's Custard by Vitens Golfland along Schrader Road and Whitney Way. Very, very easy to get to. We'll have all this up on our website as well. Guys, back to you. Yeah, make a date of it, huh? Yeah. Head over to Vitens, get some art in, get some snacks in. It's a whole afternoon right there. Love it. Josh, thank you. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. He would love to hear from you. A lot of his ideas make it on the air. So email him in the 608 at wisctv.com.